Okay, we're back with the still trying to stay alive. Uh, some kind of recording failure happened for us, so I'm just uh, doing this little part over it, which made me glad I had the save state because... Oh, well, I got defense. That's good. Because I had to just hard reset in order to make it function again. So I was like, phew. Okay, talking her in here basically is a choke point is what we're getting here. Because otherwise the mages, we don't want them to swarm us. Of course, Nino will be perfectly fine. I'm going to watch out for his peg knights keep coming in on the side here, so we don't want to leave anyone exposed. It's good to keep them in like a tight pack. Oh man, I feel like I'm not saying anything. Well, I'm a little sleepy. And also, like, what is there to say? We're being swarmed. This chapter was actually even more insane before. Like, it was kind of beyond the beyond. The reinforcements were, there were a lot more of them, and they came for a lot longer. So, as you can imagine, it really quickly became just like, shit, like, you, you were just dying. It, it, it overwhelmed you quickly. So, I actually nerfed a little, mostly because when you won, the characters tend to be just redonkulous levels. I mean, they already kind of get there, but it, it got really crazy cakes. So I nerfed it a little bit to avoid that problem. Um, he could die. So let's just check him out over there. And that'll do. But, uh, but yeah, so this chapter, though, it... Honestly, I... Oopsies. Oops, that didn't mean to do that. I don't really like time chapters, mostly. I don't like to rush. I, like, I have a turtley style, as I think I've said before. You know, and yet... In, in, I admit, I designed this chapter where you really have to get over here and have the bridge blocked. That's the best way to avoid getting overwhelmed and swarmed. It, it really is. You kind of have to. So I kind of ended up designing the very kind of chapter I usually don't like. But in spite of that, I do find it enjoyable. Like, I, I wouldn't want a whole game of that. But this particular one, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of this intense... You know, especially the last chapter is not very difficult. It's kind of a breather. So this one is sort of just intense, you know, just hammering away at your forces and trying to survive. And it's really kind of fun. In this, it, it's, it was not as fun before I nerfed it because before it got frustrating at points. It was that hard. For me, at least. I guess it would have been easier for someone who's better at the game than me. But uh, right now, I think, as long as you keep a good pace, there's a couple points where you can easily mess up. Like, when you first start attacking the Central Island, you really have to keep up with it. You can, if you screw it up, you, you can get overwhelmed. And then when you set up the first sort of wave with the reinforcements, when you're really being swarmed with Peg Knights, trying to set up your defense barrier, you can screw that up. But, you know, you can kind of get into a rhythm, and um, it's good. These last few enemies, they're nothing. I just stuck them into the top one, looks so empty. And if you have any stragglers who need levels. But uh, yeah, the boss, I don't see the boss as the real challenge here. And I think that's true in a lot of Fire Emblem levels, honestly. By the time you get to the boss, if it's just on a throne, he's on a throne, you know? And he's just one dude. In Fire Emblem, yeah, one dude, it's bad. But frequently, what you lose to is attrition. Just getting swarmed. That's that's a big, dangerous chapter thing. You can have one big, tough boss, but it's not as common as just the overwhelmed. So the boss here, no big deal. The swarms of reinforcements, killer. So that's, but I, I intended this chapter to be like that, though, that it's kind of just an onslaught. And then I personally consider the chapter that follows this to be it's got a few annoying points, but it's not as difficult as this one, I feel like. It used to be, and I had to nerf it a little because it got a little... I accidentally... I meant to put in turn reinforces until turn 23, but I accidentally put them for 23 turns, and they weren't reinforcements you could easily kill in one turn. Yeah. That was madness. True, like, gauntlet, like, Zerg Rush madness. It was intense. They were knights. 
that was just a programming error, but it was still pretty low areas. Gonna make it another save state. And I think we can actually finish this up right here. Uh, we're gonna get some levels. He gets to kill the boss. He's he's well suited to killing the boss. High defense, lance user, the whole bit. So, time to kill the boss, Heath. Yay! Good speed for Heath. And we get a steel sword. Is there anyone else who needs to heal while we're at it? Yes! Always grind Priscilla. She's already level 9, see? She's doing great. She's doing fantastic. Oh, we've only got... We'll have to buy another heal staff soon. And seize! Excellent. So now we have some ending cutscene. And this is just a little Freen and Raven, just some character development. I, I just, I really like these two's interaction. Like, they bounce off each other in a way that I find really funny. Because they both have, Freena has this kind of bombastic personality. And the two of them, and Raven has this weird-ass personality. So the two of them just feed off of each other. And just, and Raven, I guess Raven's kind of into that. And uh, this is these guys. And this is where Ella Wood is all like, angry face. Oh, and this is uh, a little hint here where this is not like Hawk Company Bass. This isn't their only place. There's lots of different branches. You know, they're like a multinational company. I don't know. So that's the threat. They could send a message to Lord Lundgren because we're in Kaylin right now. Uh, and this is like, yeah, he, he's decided to trust her. This is like sort of character development for Elwood where he's still struggling with the idea that a person he thinks is a bad person could do something good, but he's kind of dealing with it. And this is where we have, like, Elwood is, uh, you know, the naive youngin from the country. He's like, oh man, I've never seen a dragon or a wyvern or whatever the hell that was. He's all like, the world is so wide and vast. Because he's always just lived in this tiny village, you know, so now he's, like, seeing the world. And meanwhile, Lynn is kind of like, you know, so they're kind of that she missed. And see, Elwood keeps like trying to be like, tell me about your backstory. And she's like, no. And Elwood is, has clued on to the fact that she's uh, trying to avoid talking. So that's the ending. It's just character development, but I actually really like it. I think it's cute. But uh, I'm actually kind of proud of this chapter. I think the design actually works well, kind of the pacing, and it's an intense chapter. But I actually think that it flows properly. It kind of works the way I wanted it to. So I really like that one a lot. It's probably really easy to people who are good at the game, unlike me, but I enjoy it. It's a little tough. So that's chapter five. It only took me two tries. Much better than I thought it would. Yay! And next turn, we see another indoor map. Oh my gosh!